Hi everyone, this lesson is on the signs and symptoms of thyroid cancer. Before we get into the signs and symptoms, let's talk about what thyroid cancer is. Thyroid cancer is a cancer of the thyroid gland, and the thyroid gland is an endocrine gland located in the anterior or the front of the neck. So the thyroid gland is responsible for making thyroid hormone, including T3 or triiodothyronine and T4 or thyroxine. Both of these thyroid hormones are responsible for metabolism, movement, and mentation. If you want more information, please check out my other lessons on the thyroid gland. Now, there are actually four main types of thyroid cancer or thyroid carcinoma. One of them is known as papillary thyroid carcinoma. This is actually the most common type of thyroid cancer. The second is follicular. The third one is medullary thyroid carcinoma or MTC. And the fourth one is anaplastic thyroid carcinoma. All of them have similar signs and symptoms, but there are some differences, and we're going to talk about those as we go through this lesson. Now, thyroid cancers account for approximately 1% of all cancers. Certain types occur at different times of a person's life, but on average, the incidence of thyroid cancer peaks in the third to fourth decade of life. But the topic of this lesson is that there is a variety of signs and symptoms that can occur in thyroid cancer. We're going to talk about those in the next upcoming slides. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of thyroid cancer? So one of the most important signs of thyroid cancer is a thyroid nodule. So a thyroid nodule is going to be a growth from the thyroid gland. So this can be a growth or a little lump or mass that protrudes from the thyroid gland. It can be felt or visible by the patient and it is a painless mass. So if a patient were to touch that little lump on their throat, it's going to be painless. A patient may only have one, so it would be a solitary nodule, or they can have many. And oftentimes the nodule is going to be hard and fixed, meaning that if the patient feels that lump on their neck, it's going to be hard, it's going to be a hard lump, it's not going to be soft, and it's going to be fixed. It's not going to be easy to move. Some other important points to note about a thyroid nodule that is indicative of thyroid cancer is that if there's a sudden onset of pain from that particular lump or that nodule, that indicates that it's more likely that that nodule is a benign thyroid condition. So it could be a cyst that has become hemorrhaged, for instance, that could cause a sudden onset of pain. And there are particular red flags that can be noted with a thyroid nodule as well. One of them is if the thyroid nodule has or undergoes rapid growth. So if the little lump on someone's throat starts to grow and get larger very rapidly, that can be a red flag and a troubling sign. The second red flag would be that there is a solitary nodule in an individual above the age of 60 or below the age of 30. Another red flag with thyroid nodules is if the patient is male. And the fourth is that if the nodule is nodular. So if the lump is palpated or felt and it's soft, there are no little lumps and bumps on the lump itself, that is less worrisome. But if it is nodular, if there are other lumps and bumps on the particular nodule, that can be more of a worrying sign as well. Some other important signs and symptoms of thyroid cancer include lymphadenopathy. So lymphadenopathy are swollen, tender lymph nodes. And these are most commonly going to be found in the cervical chain, so it can be located in the neck area. And this is going to be due to the cancer, the thyroid cancer, spreading into the lymphatics. So again, this is going to be something that can occur in some patients, especially patients who are in later stages of the disease. We can also see neck swelling in some patients as well. So we can actually see in some patients the neck getting larger and larger. This can occur more commonly in anaplastic thyroid cancer. Anaplastic thyroid cancer is going to be a type of cancer that's going to be more common in older patients. So it's going to be a more rare type of thyroid cancer, but it's going to occur later on in life in the sixth and seventh decade of life. And in individuals with anaplastic thyroid cancer, they can often have a growing, and in some cases, a rapidly growing neck swelling or neck mass. And this is due to an increasing thyroid cancer mass growing in the patient's neck. So this is another sign that can occur in patients with thyroid cancer. Some other signs and symptoms of thyroid cancer include voice hoarseness. So there can be changes in the voice. The voice can be disrupted, or in some cases, patients can lose their voice entirely. This 
is due to the thyroid mass pressing on surrounding structures like the vocal cords and the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And so this is another potential sign of thyroid cancer as the cancer gets worse. Another symptom of thyroid cancer is dysphagia. So dysphagia is difficulty swallowing. So you can imagine that if the thyroid mass is getting larger and larger, it can start to impinge on the esophagus. And the esophagus is the passage between your mouth and your stomach. So food passes through your esophagus. If you have a difficult time swallowing, getting things down, that could be a sign of thyroid cancer if you have all these other symptoms we talked about before. Another potential symptom of thyroid cancer is dyspnea. Dyspnea is shortness of breath, and this is again due to a thyroid mass compressing surrounding areas, and in particular, the trachea. And this can be seen in anaplastic thyroid carcinoma. Corner syndrome is also another potential condition that can occur in patients who have thyroid cancer. And Horner's syndrome has particular signs and symptoms, and these include meiosis, so where the pupils become constricted, anisocoria. Anisocoria is when you look at the patient's pupils and they are different sizes, and ptosis. Ptosis would be a drooping eyelid. So those few signs, meiosis, anisocoria, and ptosis, are signs that we see in Horner's syndrome. And this is due to that thyroid mass growing and compressing on the sympathetic chain. And then some patients can also experience a sore throat. So a sore throat may occur in some patients with thyroid cancer. And this sore throat is going to be a sore throat that does not improve or resolve. The patient's going to have a sore throat for a very long time. And other potential causes of the sore throat are often going to be ruled out. And the patient's often going to have some other signs and symptoms we talked about earlier on in this lesson. And then there can be some other symptoms that can occur in thyroid cancer as well. And this is going to occur due to altered levels of thyroid hormones that may occur in rare cases of thyroid cancer. We may not see very significant changes in thyroid hormone levels, but in some cases we can. And these symptoms and signs that could occur include diarrhea and flushing. And because it is a cancer, we can also see constitutional symptoms. Constitutional symptoms are going to include the following. Weight loss. And this weight loss is going to be significant. It's going to be significant unintended weight loss that occurs over the course of several months. And it's going to be due to anorexia. So the patient may not have an appetite. They may lose their appetite or it could be due to cancer-related metabolic changes. And another important constitutional symptom that can be found in many different types of cancer is fatigue. So fatigue, feeling very tired or having a low energy may occur as well. And another important constitutional symptom with thyroid cancer is a fever. So a fever may occur, so patients may have a temperature greater than 38 degrees Celsius, and they may also have night sweats as well. So drenching night sweats could occur in patients with thyroid cancer as well. If you want to learn more about thyroid cancer, please check my full lesson on this topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.